Hey there, welcome back to the channel. So in the morning, I tried to grab my old iPad here, and when I grabbed that, I got this. It says iPad is disabled, connect to iTunes. I did a lot of attempts to solve the problem. I tried to give the restart, force the restart, everything has been done, but nothing is working. Now, if you have exactly the same problem on your old iPad just like that, don't worry. Let me just go ahead and quickly show you how you can make your old iPad up and running and solve the iPad is disabled issues. Now, if you want to solve the problem, there's one thing that you guys got to do. You need to put your device into the recovery mood or into the DFU mood to solve the problem. If you're going to follow the process, this will erase every single thing on your iPad. However, it will make or it will help your iPad to get back on track. To solve the problem, you need to have a Mac or Windows with iTunes. On a Windows computer, if you don't have the iTunes applications here, then you need to install or download it either from Google or your Microsoft Store. Once you got it, then you'll be able to start with the process. Now, the first work, all you have to do is to connect your iPad to your computer. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect it by using the lightning cable to the computer with the iPad. So I'm just going to go ahead and place it in right here. And let me just put it to the computer. Now, once you open up your iTunes on your computer here, go ahead and grab your old iPad. Now, all you want to do, you want to press that power button and the home button simultaneously unless it shows you that iTunes logo on your iPad. Once you get this iTunes logo on your old iPad here, you'll get a prompt on your iTunes on your computer. Now go ahead and click on update and now you're going to get another prompt click on update here now click on next click agree to the terms and conditions and now your software is going to start downloading from here well downloading software can take a little long time but don't worry wait unless your software is get downloaded completely well after downloading your software your software is going to get start extracting to your ipad well, while doing this process, your iPad can take a restart for several time. But don't worry, wait unless your update gets verified and shows you the 10 second time. And at the same time, keep that in mind, while the process is going on to your iPad, make sure not to just unplug your iPad from your computer. Once your computer shows you this, you can either wait 10 seconds or you can simply click on OK and after that your iPad is going to take a restart and your iPad is going to show you this. Well, it's going to show you hello in the different languages. Well, now after that, all you have to do is just go ahead and just reset up your iPad just by following the on-screen process. Well, after following this process, your problem will be solved and you'll be able to use your disabled iPad once again. Hope you find this video useful. If you think so, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.